Temperatures are coolest right now near the Lake Superior shoreline, and we are seeing some warmer temperatures still in the middle to upper 50s around the Wisconsin border. It's 46 degrees in Marquette, 39 degrees in Munising, 55 degrees in Iron River, and 48 degrees in Escanaba. We have mainly clear skies all across the area. We'll continue to see mainly clear skies through the rest of tonight. Increasing clouds for tomorrow during the day, and then some messy weather arriving tomorrow evening. At the moment, we're under clear skies. A temperature of 46 degrees, winds out of the northeast at 14 miles per hour, and relative humidity at 36%. We have high pressure over our area that's giving us the mainly clear skies, but that area of high pressure will eventually be shifting off towards the east. And then our next storm system right now is centered over western Colorado, but this will be moving across the plains and then towards the northeast. You can see here some areas of soaking rain in the reds and oranges, even some thunderstorms for parts of the plains and that will be moving uh, toward the Great Lakes. We're not really going to see any potential for thunderstorms, but we are going to get some soaking rain and even at times mixing with snow, and that's because of the colder temperatures in our area. So as we go into tomorrow evening, a rain snow mix lasting through tomorrow night as well. The Thursday morning commute will likely be a messy and slow, changing to all rain during the day on Thursday. And then finally by Friday, we'll start to see some drier air. So here's a look at the timeline going forward. We're under mainly clear skies tonight. And for tomorrow, maybe even a little bit of sunshine early in the morning, then we're going to see increasing cloud cover. By the late afternoon, the first uh, area of rain will be approaching the Wisconsin border. That's going to spread towards the north and east. And for tomorrow evening, we'll likely see some snow mixing in, especially for northwestern sections of the UP. So from Marquette to Iron River and then points off towards the north and west, including Ontonagon and Houghton, that's the likeliest area to see some snow. Elsewhere, this will be mainly rain and at times some soaking rain late tomorrow into early Thursday. Then periods of rain are going to continue through the day on Thursday, only on Thursday night. That's when we'll start to see some clearing skies across our area. For tonight, it's mostly clear. Lows dropping to 26 in Marquette, 29 degrees in Escanaba, near 30 degrees in Barriga. Very light winds, very calm tonight, calm tomorrow morning. Increasing cloud throughout the day. Highs about 48 degrees in Marquette, also 48 in Escanaba, 49 in Iron River, near 50 in Barriga, and winds out of the east around 10 miles per hour. So for tomorrow, highs in the upper 40s. We're starting off with dry weather, rain, snow mix for the evening and overnight hours. Here's a look at the timeline going through Wednesday and Thursday. Rain moving in during the afternoon, especially near the Wisconsin border, spreading from southwest to northeast across the UP. A rain snow mix for Wednesday night. The precipitation rates becoming heavier for Wednesday night and early Thursday. Thursday morning will likely see some slow travel conditions with a wintry mix changing over to rain. And then finally throughout Thursday evening, we'll begin to see the rain easing across the area. Thursday is also very cold with high temperatures around 40 degrees near 50 on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds. There is a slight chance for some showers on Saturday, but we'll also see some warmer temperatures getting up to 58 degrees. 52 on Tuesday with a mix of sun and clouds, also a mix of sun and clouds for Monday. And at this point, it looks we'll be seeing some warmer temperatures early next week, upper 50s to around 60 degrees for Monday and Tuesday, although we could see a few showers on Tuesday.